Yeah, according to BoxingScene.com, Lucas Matisse will be jumping in the sparring ring with Timothy Bradley and Juan Diaz. Now, this is going to have a big mental impact on Lucas Matisse because these are big-name guys. Um, the only bad thing is neither of these guys is known for being hard hitters. In fact, uh, Timothy Bradley's known for being feather-fisted, and uh, Juan Diaz is known for just being a volume puncher. Um, I don't know how he looks now. I haven't seen him recently. I know he's fought once or twice recently, but I haven't seen him, what kind of shape he's in. Um, but he was never known for being a hard puncher. And the thing is, Danny Garcia is a hard puncher. And I know it's just sparring, and they're going to be wearing headgear, and they're not really going to be going all out on each other. But the mental impact is going to have, have Matisse thinking he's even a more of an unstoppable train. He's going to go into this fight thinking he's, he's unstoppable. And it's not good for the boxers to have too much sparring. In fact, Danny Garcia is not known for sparring too much. But the thing is, man, is this is not gonna this is not looking good for Lucas. Uh fighting guys, he's not getting prepared for the right type of battle here. Um not only do they not have similar styles, but the power difference is gonna be the comparison in power is gonna be a very large gap between uh these two guys and and Danny Garcia and um this is not looking too good for Lucas man he's 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 picking all the wrong roads I don't know who's managing him who's making these decisions but um they're really in in my opinion the casino wants to clean up on everyone um Matisse I felt he did win the Alexander and the Judah fight and a lot of people did, and he, he gained a lot of fans, and he got a big fan base off those controversial losses. And in the casino, and everyone sees this, so what they do is they set it up for him to look real good by putting him against guys that are known, that are already, that are known to be knocked out. And boom, he's knocking out people that already have been knocked out, people who've already been knocked down multiple times, like Peterson, um, Dallas, who's been knocked out already, stopped. All these guys have already been stopped in order to make him look real good, and they're building him up. I mean, you got a lightweight Soto, an unproven a Jose, and everyone's are, he's already getting a fan base, and he starts knocking out these guys, and people just aren't paying attention to who he's knocking out. And then everyone's going against Garcia, and then the casino's going to clean up on everybody. I can I already see it coming. Garcia's resume doesn't look much more impressive than Lucas's, but Garcia's not the one that's been built up by the media, by the fans, built up by his own by his own uh, knockout stories, and he's not the one that's being um, made to. He's the one that everyone's expecting to lose. He's the one that is expected to be the underdog. He's the one that's going to come in there with the fight plan. He's not going to come in there swinging over committing and he's the one that's going to come out winning this 